right, so I want to show you some things that I set up and some displays that I think are really good, but let's head over. There you go. Flick on the light. First off, we took out my cabinet and put in a taller one. Um, and uh, this looks amazing. This whole shelf. Here, you, let's open it up. This whole shelf is Star Wars. We got plushies, baby Yoda's pops, these little candy dispensers that it took all the candy out of. We got a Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan forces a destiny. Some smaller plastic figures like that Ray and the Stormtrooper or Death Trooper, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and then we have this shelf, which is just random stuff. And I'm going to fill these all the way to the very front as you can see down here by all my pops you got some other pops like biggie you got some figures like john wick Coraline, harley quinn little goku some mugs some cool stuff okay that's all there you got the iron giant and robbie because i wanted to put them over there the top but these things are really tall they're really large and uh they're on wheels so you know earthquake <laughs> i live in california um, or, <laughs> uh, fall, break, smash. I don't need that. Now, that's, those don't happen very often where I live, at least. Um, but it's still, like, even if just a light shaking of the shelf, like, let's so say you know, somebody bump it, bumps the shelf, they're gonna fall. And I just was like, no. Got some Coca-Cola merchandise and W mug, and you know, I got this Star Wars mug. Which I think I'm going to probably... Here. There we go. It's in there. Um, but, because it just doesn't look right. You got some other pops. Star Wars popcorn bucket. If you don't know, I like Star Wars. But, yeah. You got a little uh, Build-A-Bear Chewbacca. Santa's little helper and little Baby Yoda up there. That's my cabinet. Over here we have Superman uh, figure and some Ghostbusters stuff. Here's my Star Wars display. Now this is not filled up because uh, I don't have that many Star Wars figures to fill it up yet. I got some other figures I'm putting over here like Cthulhu, my Dundee, uh, some other tennis pops like Groot, Coca-Cola Bear, Bruce Lee, Rocketeer figure, um, Back to the Future uh, DeLorean, you know, Star Wars movie moment, like that. So you get that, you go baby out with the egg catcher, some Hot Wheels, Batmobiles on front of my DVDs there. You know, you got some other Batman stuff, all my Batman stuff. Cool, baby Yoda. And then you got this here. I'm going to keep this blank. I, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to put there. I might put something there, but that's sitting there too. So that's everything there. Now, I'm going to show you my complete Marvel Legends collection. Now, I don't have a lot of Marvel Legends. I'm not a huge Marvel guy. So, and Marvel Legends aren't the cheapest. And so, I'm going to show you them. Here we go. This is my complete Marvel Legends display. Now, there's some other stuff on here too. Like, right behind the Venom is an ACDC light up album. Let's see if I can turn it on. And that's enough we'll play that because I don't want to get copyright claimed. Uh, that's a shot in the dark. That's the album. And that album is uh, a newer ACDC album. And that's a Target exclusive light up edition. Now, I already have that album on vinyl, so I don't need the CD version. It's just a cool display. Um, but yeah, I put my whole Marvel Legends stuff here. These are my Jada Toys and the Dragons, Jada Toys, G.I. Joe. Uh, basically, and then you got like a Wolverine Pop. But the rest of this is Marvel Legends. We have Magneto. This is the E. McKellen head, because if you don't know, they were played by two different actors in two different series of movies that flow together somehow. I don't know. But um, I chose Ian McGowan and Professor X because and uh, P 
Professor Xavier Patrick Stewart head because I feel like they look the best and then they're most iconic. So I put Magneto and them here. I got Mystique, Cable from Deadpool. Uh, this is Mystique from the X-Men movies, of course. This is Venom from, I believe, the Venom movie or it's just a Venom. I don't really care. I like Venom, so Venom's in there. I don't like the Venom movie. I just like Venom as a character. And I think in the movie, he had some funny lines and he was a fun character. The rest of the movie sucked, though. Um, we got Wolverine there. This is the one based off of, I think, Origins? Um, but yeah, that's the common one. We also have the Amazon exclusive one. And then we have uh, Domino back there. There we go. Domino. And then we got, uh, this is a Walmart exclusive pack that I did not get at Walmart. I got this at a store on Tuesday morning called Tuesday Morning. Uh, this is Luke Cage. Um, and we have Jessica Jones. And they're sitting there. They're pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Those are all pretty dope. Uh, cool Marvel Legends set, set up here. And then we have Apocalypse. This is not from the X-Men movie, X-Men Apocalypse. That movie sucks. And Apocalypse in that movie was so bad in that movie. Like, wow. Um, one of the coolest X-Men villains. They screwed him up. I mean, for crying out loud, look at this. Sorry, I just bumped my record player. Um... <laughs> But look at that. He's holding a skull, okay? I think this dude is pretty sick. He's smiling. He's all giddy about that guy whose body he just disintegrated and he's holding a skull. You know what I'm just saying? Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And that is pretty awesome. So that's my complete Marvel Legends display. Uh, we got some, you know, Mandalorian stuff there. Wacky races, dorbs, you know... Um, but then you got, uh, more Mandalorian, got some autograph pops from Sean Austin, uh, from, and then we got, uh, John Wesley's ship, Superman, and then we got Cyborg Superman. So, yeah, that's everything I wanted to show you, but that is my complete Marvel Legends display. And it's not wanting to focus.